Good evening everyone. Tonight we're gonna play some free-for-all deity with the Arabs. Let's get started, shall we? We're gonna go most likely for a te uh, economic or cultural victory on deity. Did you see that? It started on the Arabs. It like knew what I wanted. Arabs are strong. Start with the religion, that's really the coolest thing they have. And then they have the horseman, night attack, and industrial, which is pretty cool. The gold interest is pretty cool too. Um, knowledge of math. It's a pretty good free tech, helps you get to navigation. 50% caravan gold. Actually, that I found out that actually does not affect normal caravans from huts and stuff like that. It actually... Um, it only affects ones that you actually build, which I find to be really strange, but okay. I'm surprised I never noticed that all these years, but I never really produced caravans, so there you go. I know, I swear my Xbox 360 is listening to me. It heard me say Arabs, and then it just plugged in Arabs. Oh, it's Juice Jones the Third. What's going on, man? Welcome. Welcome to the most exciting channel in all of Twitch. Let's cheat. Let's see if who we can see here. I don't want to mess with those mountains at all. I wanted to give my wife a spouse icon. I gave her the moderator sword, but I could I'm like, damn, Twitch needs like a, a little heart for my spouse. I'm being oppressed by Twitch in so many ways. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh, I hit a dead end. Reset! Oh yeah, they're listening to your microphones, ladies and gentlemen. They want to give you the best content and ad delivery possible for all based upon your needs. Running into a dead end isn't really a great way to start a world record run, so let's restart. Rage quit Civ Rev, huh? Why'd you rage quit Civ Rev? There's nothing to rage about. Everything goes your way when you play Civ Rev. It's a joyful experience. It's over here. I feel like I'm in the middle. I hate being in the middle. <laughs> the communist. Uh, Alright, where is everybody? I can't see anybody. Oh, there's Indians. There's Aztecs. Where's the Romans? Problem is, I haven't hit, like, any huts or anything, which is kind of a bummer. Wish this was a hut. That would have really worked out wonderfully. <laughs> hmm. I'm just curious if this will work. I don't think it will, but we'll give this a spin for a couple turns. I think this guy's gonna. I'm just curious what the AI is actually going to do here. What's this guy doing? 
you doing? Let's see what happens. That was a little weird. See, I didn't get Code of Laws. Is it because I didn't hit a certain year? Is it like you can't get a free tech before a certain year or something? Because that happened to me with the French. I didn't get pottery. Which was a real killer. See that? I was mashing left button. I was like... finally didn't skip my turn. Apparently you have to do that if you don't want it to skip your turn. Will this work? I don't know guys. Let's find out. What's he waiting for? Attack! He's just being dramatic. Hey, here's a fun little tip for you guys. You can always figure out if the Egyptians are in the game. All you gotta do is go to Wonders. If you can build a Stonehenge, that means Stonehenge is not in the game. And then if you go to Research, you can figure out Oh, Oracle. You could build Oracle. You could build Colossus. Oh, we cannot build the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. That means the Egyptians started with the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. So, that's not good. Know what you're thinking, Joey being really spoiled, but I'm going for it. <laughs> what a beast! One ancient artifact. I'm so tired of this garbage. <laughs> yes, I, I, I agree with you. Pottery is pretty OP. This guy have any money? Hey, chaos worker. What's going on, man? Oh, this guy's not got no money. That's not good. 
Oh, come on. Oh, you idiot. That was not intended. Five gold. What in the hell? Hey, Braun's working, all right. Aztecs don't know it yet, but they in some trouble. Let it be peace. Hey, Juice Jones the Third. Yeah, man. Thanks for following. Uh, hopefully, you get a good, uh, impressive game here tonight. Don't want to disappoint you. A lot of expectations here tonight. The Aztecs are clueless. They have no idea. Religion for five gold? Are you nuts? All right, how many? We got three horses. Get a couple more. Durag. Durag. Man, one, two. Three. I'm almost thinking I don't even need a second horse army. Spies can't destroy wonders, but they can destroy them, the construction of a wonder. They can destroy the construction of anything. So if you know they're building like some giant wonder that takes like 200 production, you can destroy the production of it, which is pretty, pretty powerful, but it's not often leveraged. It's not often used. So, uh, how long is this guy going to take to get there? Oh, damn things in the way. One's better running off running this guy over there. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. Oh, 
out. Give me a name tile. No. Oh, I need a name tile so bad. They can kidnap a great builder, though, and then you can turn that into a, a great wonder. Dizog23. What's happening? Yeah, I need a name tile so badly. It's killing me. think I'm better off rushing up here. That's a little bit closer. What's that? One, two, three, four, five turns away. 1900 BC. Yeah, it's gonna have to, it's gonna have to happen. That's the fastest it's going to get over there, so. Alright, we're going to have to run this guy this way. Oh! Who are these people? Are they finding me from YouTube? How are you guys finding my channel? I have no idea how anyone is figuring out that I exist. Is it YouTube? I think everyone's finding me from YouTube. I, don't, I think zero people have found me from Twitch. Come on, man. Some of these gotta be named. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I know. I tried changing it to Civilization Games. I don't know. I've been trying different things. It's like impossible to get... Uh, discovered on Twitch. It's all from, if I didn't have my YouTube channel, no one would even know why I'm doing this. Oh boy. Four horses, right? The four horsemen. This guy flipping out. <laughs> Did you hear the Indian civilization has been destroyed? That's a little disconcerting. Would you happen to know anything about that? Really? You don't say? I had no idea, man. I had no idea. What text you got? <laughs> not discovered. Well, I'm saying I'm not discovered through Twitch. I, I don't think anyone that has followed me came from Twitch. Like, you cannot find Civilization Revolution. Just by like looking around or browsing. It's pretty tough. The only way is if they went to the browse tab and then they clicked and went just kept scrolling down, 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 and they just happened to see it. But they don't even have the proper picture for this game. So it's like Why are you guys oppressing me, man? Cut it out. Alright. Time to be serious. Time to take these guys down. <laughs> yeah man that that election can wait that stuff doesn't matter elections come on hey, it makes any difference let's be serious Oh boy. <laughs> oh man, you like my Twitch bio? I worked hard on that, buddy.
Hmm. <laughs> Phenomenal. <laughs> Thanks, man. You like that? You know, I just get really tired of saying, we're so po we're so positive around here. This is a positive gaming channel. Like, oh, oh wow. You edge master. You're really going out on a limb. You want to be positive. Okay. Problem with that is it's just not realistic. It isn't. Like, what planet are you on? Pretty much applies to nothing in reality. <laughs> I'm so nervous. I do not want them to get an archer army, but I feel like I'm not getting there fast enough. I know. No bathroom breaks this time, guys. I promise. I promise. Um... Um, wow. 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 What? How do I have so much tech? No. Alright. There we go. Now we're good. Hey, Kevin Bolo. We're trying, uh, we're like scheming our way towards Tenochtitlan. I'm, uh, hoping to get lucky here. Woo! <laughs> oh man! Where are all these people coming from? We're up to 36 already. We just got started. How are you guys finding this channel? I don't understand. Alright, we got three cities, 12 tech per turn. What are these clowns doing? Uh, see, the Egyptians are somewhere. <laughs> Let's discuss world events. What? He said something about the Egyptians, and now he acts like he doesn't. He's like, oh, we're the only civilizations in the world, even though I just told you about the Egyptians, because this is a really well-programmed game. No bugs whatsoever. Did you see that? That kind of triggers me. Let's try again. I have... Oh, I have uncovered the secrets of religion. I have knowledge for sale. Do you like, do you like knowledge? Do you like alphabet? Alright. So they don't have much money. What the hell? It says there's an Aztec here. But I don't see him. One bad thing about this, guys. One bad thing. We do not have veterans. No, we don't. Might not need it, though. Hey, a free boat. Oh, that'll help. We can find out what their city's doing over there. Let's see what's going on here. What's, this will take the uh, mystery out of it. Five. Damn, look at all those trees. What a nice production city right in this right in the middle of this tree. <laughs> I 
not a meme. Pottery is not a meme. When you see my pottery only economic victory, or should it be a culture victory? I've been practicing that. Not gonna lie. Yes, I have. <laughs> so do your foes with ornate pottery. I have to army up here. Thank you, God. Oh, you're in so much trouble. I'm not going to attack again. I was just... I was just... Heat of the moment. Got another archer in there. He's in big trouble though because I just got veteran status, which means he is freaking doomed. He is doomed. How many horses do I have running around here? One. Can't even count my damn horses. Two. One in here. What the hell am I doing? I'm like forgetting to build proper number of horses. Though, honestly, I'm not even sure I'm actually going to need that horse. <laughs> Johnny C. <laughs> That's brutal, man. That's some serious torture. <laughs> what the heck? I think this game has cross-gender appeal, to be honest. I think uh, I think both genders can appreciate this game. It's a nice, relaxing game. You can take your time. It's turn-based, you know. You can play. You can win several different ways. You don't have to be a violent, invading marauder. Just destroying everything. You can win the culture victory if you want to. That's, which is very nice and sensitive. It is very sensitive. Alright, let's see here. Let's see here. Yeah. I'm gonna rush that horse and sw switch them all over. That's not true, Genocide. That's not true. I know 100% for a fact there has been at least two women in this chat room. At least. And the rest are probably hiding from you savages. You brute beast men. There has been at least two. She doesn't really. Genda, uh... My wife doesn't really play, but she does, uh, she used to play back in the day, but now she just plays like Minecraft, Bomberman. Um, ah, there she is. There's the other female. <laughs> I was corrected. Yes, I was. Oh, look what I found. That's right. Two whole ladies, believe it or not. All right. Oh, hey, what's going on there? What the heck is this warrior doing?
<laughs> Very nice, Demily. Very nice. Oh! Took damage. That was a little disconcerting. I don't know about that. Just took damage. Another horse. Aha! I think the barb huts would change at 2000. See that? It's the year 2000. Look at that. Oh, wait. 2000. That's when you start getting horses and stuff like that. She does real life. My wife does real life Minecraft. She goes outside and actually gardens in real life. It's, it's wild. Amazing. <laughs> uh, oh! There is nobody in the city. Nobody in the city. Oh, I should have put the horse in here. I'm such an idiot. Oh, I should have put the horse in here. So stupid. That warrior is going to run in there. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm not going to attack. This is called deception, by the way. Oh. Oh. I'm not going to risk it, man. This is risky, guys. This is risky. Not gonna risk it. Sit on their trees and just... Oh, uh, no. Not doing it. Not doing it. I'm petrified. Say hi to the Egyptians. Keep them busy. Not doing it, genocide. Not, not doing it. Forget it. It's gonna, it's gonna hurt me, but it's way more likely to work out. I mean, I got the. The militia dude hanging out in their woods and everything. It's going to be clean. Plus, they're going to grow the city a little bit for me, you know? Oh, we got math already? Holy cow. Got a spy. Got to send that guy over to Thebes. A lot of die on this map, by the way. Oh! Give me some name tiles. Alright, those are a lot better odds than what I had last time. Aha! No injury. Need to hang out here for a bit. Yeah, only problem is this is going to take me a little bit longer. Plus, I can't hit this hut because I'm occupied. So, But all they got in there now is a warrior. So it's easy to... S I don't even think they're going to be able to pop out an another archer here. I don't think 
Yeah, they don't have the production. Blitz. Nope. I just need the ability to move into the darn city. This all could have been avoided if I put the darn horse on a boat. A no gold economic victory? <laughs> what? How would that even work? Uh. You know, this isn't a complete loss because this guy is growing the city for me. So don't get down here. Yeah, you know, we still got this stupid spy in the city that's holding this. How did they get a spy? I guess they got it from a hut. Something like that. Not a complete loss. I would have liked to grab this capital a little earlier. So stupid. No gold economic victory will work with communism. Caravan only economic victory? No, I haven't tried that. Did you know you can't rush a caravan? I didn't know that until the other day because I never tried to build them. But yeah, you cannot rush a, car a caravan. I was like, really? I didn't know that. Need to start thinking about where I'm gonna start planting cities down here. <laughs> this is getting pretty annoying. annoying <laughs> are you serious <laughs> oh that was great forgot to put that back Look at that. Got another one. Krasabi. Hey, 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 we got pottery. I didn't, I didn't even ask, ask for that, but they just gave it to me. Oh! 
Thanks, Dr. Lovemaker. Maker of love. Appreciate that, buddy. Oh, thank you. God. Oh. The city was stress stressing me out. This is going to feel so good. Oh, wait, ready? Ah, let's press this button. Ah, press this button. Oh, that felt great. <laughs> uh oh, it's confession time. What's going on, honey? <laughs> I don't doubt that at all. She is the craft master. She's a crafty girl. Man, I got so lucky that warrior was creeping up on the city. He was about to annihilate me. Look at this city. Twenty. What do we need? Fourteen. We don't need that much. So let's bring it down. This is a pretty good setup. What do you guys think? Fourteen hundred BC, code of law. Well, thirteen hundred BC. We'll get. Oh, we can use this guy too. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, Bam. Look at that. It's booming. Gentlemen, is booming. We're doing all right today. That was a good little setup. Still have way too much technology on this turn. Which is a nice problem to have. Um, actually, let's put it down here. Said it before, I've said it again. I'll say it again. It's a good idea to uh, micromanage your science a little bit in these early turns, especially. Getting to Code of Laws fast is really important. Uh, we haven't got a free settler yet. Hmm. We got another hut waiting for us. This is an interesting little. This is like a big giant river, sort of, that comes out, goes out to the ocean. Kind of interesting. It's a lot of, man, that's a nice, six? Holy cow. This thing's up to six population. Beautiful. Uh-oh. <laughs> Ooh. All right, let's see what we got here. March. March is good. We shall have peace. Wasn't sure about the start, but it worked out great. Where did we start? We started like down here, right? Down here somewhere, ran up here, planted right here. Oh man, that was beautiful. That was beautiful.
What the hell happened? Why didn't I get Code of Laws? I'm so confused what happened there. I thought I got Code of Laws. Did I do my math wrong? I guess I did. What the hell? <laughs> Is that what I did? Oh, that's real smart. Way to go, Joe. Way to go. And now I need even less science. I am a math expert. I measured in English. I warned you all. Well, that sucks. Not gonna get a world record playing like that, you dummy. Alright, let's go conquer. Go forth and conquer here. Oh! Some more goodies. <laughs> Alright, what are these clowns doing? Oh! They have four techs. Hate the Egyptians. I was kidding. All right, seriously, I was just kidding. Archer army? Where are you giving me a trading post? Nowhere, because Rome already had it. Let's make a change. Alright, don't have time to screw around with the Egyptians. Let's take these huts. Give me something good. You should build legions when you're really, really, really close to someone you want to kill. Or you have a boat. If you have galleons, they're awesome. I just don't have galleons usually. Like if you did legions and then like beeline to navigation, you might be able to do something pretty fun and cool with them. But I just don't usually go that route. I find it's a lot better if I can just get horses and run far and not need a boat. Yeah, it's just it's so slow, man. By the time you get there, it's like, geez, pretty much, I think you pretty much need a boat. Load that guy up. I'm wondering if I can threaten these guys. Oh man. Oh man. This is getting complicated. I kind of have to attack this or I'm not going to get it, or I'm not going to... I might lose this horse. Thank you! Of damn horses.
<laughs> Man, they're just... The masses are... They want multiplayer. They're going to riot. Chat is going to riot if I don't do multiplayer. They have four techs. <sighs> I hate when the Egyptians get... I don't want them to get... Irrigation, obviously. Yeah, hey, Matt's X69. Still going, man. Still going. I bet these clowns don't even have a proper defense over here. I could probably take them out in like 1100 BC. I bet they moved their archer army out. I bet they did. Alrighty. Seven gold. Damn. This would be a nice little spot to pump out settlers. Um, right over here. Anything good over here? Not really. Here would be a good spot. Depending on what that resource is, we'll try to see what we do with that. Uh, I gotta these cities out. This is kind of an unfortunate spot for Delhi. Can't really take advantage of that tip of the land. That's unfortunate. Um. This will be okay. Sell some of these horses if I wanted to. Well, I can't sell him right now. He's got one move. Oh, I'm so mad they're going to get irrigation first. It's like, I cannot do anything about that, really. Could go for masonry. It's just not a very good chance, because they already got four. They got four techs. All they need is one more. Are they even working 
science tiles? Yeah, they are. Yeah, forget it. It's not happening. Not happening. This isn't really a great kidnapping, but whatever. I'd rather have a builder, of course. Let's see how they feel about this. they plant right there. That would be great. How many times did I reset? Not that many. I think one time I reset. Let's see if I can get currency. Oops. That's not it. Umfa. Oh. Uh, boy. Oh man, this is complicated. I guess I just got to go for it. Spies. I don't think that's really going to help me right now. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, how am I in the ancient era? I don't know. I just got math. That doesn't make sense. Did I have math? Oh, wait. I don't have math. No, no, no. <laughs> Are you reading it wrong? It's uh, eight. I have eight texts. Confuse me, man. I'm gonna have to sell these stinking spies, I suppose. Yeah, it's really a bummer that I can't. The fact that I can't get irrigation is a little annoying, but gotta roll with the punches sometimes. Man, that's a nice island. I'm going as fast as I can. get it so oh how about you guys what are you guys doing pop this out <laughs> you want a city it's a hot people want a city absolutely hip them grow <laughs> uh, let's see here. Anything? Nope. Can't really take.
This city is terrible. Should not have built this. Well, could do this. Oh, it's another one. Robin D. Hickey. Excellent. Welcome aboard, buddy. Keep this settler train rolling. How about this guy. Pop out some here. Damn, I hate when trees aren't by the coastline. This is kind of a stupid spot, too. <laughs> Man, we're getting a lot of followers. What is going on here? Maybe I'm not being oppressed. What's the deal? It's, people must love this game. <laughs> uh, let's see. Can we expand any more? <laughs> Shirtless streams. This is going to be interesting right here. I'm interested to see what's going to happen over here. What? Are y'all crazy? Out of your damn mind. Dude, are these guys going to attack with their archers? That would be pretty annoying. Oh my goodness. If these archers attack me and kill me. They've got like six attack from this hill. Oh no! Please don't kill my horses! No! <laughs> wow! They showed me. I'll take their damn settler though. Oh, a lot of people still play this game online, for sure. That stinks. I could have sold those horses for a settler. Well, if you really think about that exchange right there, that was really a break-even exchange, because he took my horse army, which I was kind of thinking about selling for 60 gold, but in exchange I got a settler, which would cost me 60 gold, so that, whatever. I'll take it. How do you sell? You just push in the left stick. And you sell it. And that's it. Woo! These cities are awful. Can a guy get some... Ugh. Could run the settler up here. That could even be. 
Well, the sooner I settle with this guy, the better, really. Hmm. Oh, tough decision. Indeed. I don't think anything is over there, so I'm going to have to drive around this peninsula. See, where can this guy go? I have no gold. I'm not sure which tile here. Oh! Alright, this is going to have to be it. Oh, hey, Nemesis. What's going on, man? Good. Glad you can catch me on here. Did you catch me because of the uh, Discord alert? Just curious. Just curious. How did you find me? I don't have no idea. All right, we only need 14 science this turn, so... Only 14. I don't have any trees to use, though, so I may not be able to do anything about that. <laughs> that guy, Maurice, man. That guy is triggered. That guy is super triggered. That guy's like, man, that ain't no world record, man. I saw a guy get a tech victory in 500 BC on a map that he played like 30 times. It's like, yeah, I could do that too. If I played the same map 30 times. That's really, that's really amazing. He's going to kill my other horse too, isn't he? Still have four tech. <laughs> Nothing I can do. Goodbye, horse. Oh, he healed. I thought he was going to take my horse out. Cool. Can I race this guy at literacy? I don't think so. No way, is there? He's been on... I don't know what this guy is researching, but... Tell you what, I'll get masonry in one turn. And then we'll see what he's doing. Forehead is an emote. So I'm not really sure if that guy was trying to say I had a gigantic forehead, or if he was saying that... Uh, or he was trying to say the emote or something. Dr. Penetration, I'll never forget him. I've never been trolled so hard in my life. Woo! This could be that. I have to get away from this city. Yeah, that was a good example of negativity on my channel. 
This is a positive and negative channel. Sometimes bad things might happen. Sometimes people are rude. Let's see here. I'm gonna have to take it to the corner. Uh, how to expand over here? Take this one to the corner. One here. One here. That could work. Let's go this way. You know, I was thinking, would your city be impossible to invade if you were Aztecs and you had, like, fully upgraded modern infantry on a single tile island? I think that would be impossible to crack. BC. Oh, now they want peace. I was hoping to get iron working for free from these dorks. <laughs> it's true, you can use a nuke. <laughs> Cheaters! I think we'll take peace. Maybe wasting my time researching this wall. We'll see. Curious, can we get this before? Oop! They don't have it. They don't have it yet. We could get it. What does Mailfin mean? Alright, time for a little story. So, when I was 20 years old, I played a game called EverQuest. And uh, in EverQuest, I made a half-elf ranger named Mailfin. Because that sounds like a half-elf ranger name. And ever since, I've used that name. But also, it's because I'm a male, and because I'm part Finnish. So I have some Finnish ancestry. So I'm a male Finn. Get it? Isn't that genius? I thought so. The cool thing about it is, it's uh, I'm pretty much the only person on the planet using that name. So It's good for SEO reasons, search engine reasons. It's easy to find me if you can spell it. Hmm. This is a good... This is a nice expansion spot right here. <laughs> you like that story? Yes, I played EverQuest, ladies and gentlemen. Huh, might as well just settle this guy over here. This is a good expansion spot. Good, uh... Eleven fifty, eleven fifty AD tech victory is amazing. That's really good, man. Like, I'm, I've just recently got it sub 1000 so don't that's nothing to sneeze at at all
I'm actually kind of excited about that game. Pantheon, you guys been, have you seen that at all? I've been looking at that. I thought that looked pretty darn cool. But I have a feeling that there's not an overlap with this audience with old school MMOs. So I think I'm going to say Pantheon and people are going to be like, what the hell is Pantheon? But that's okay. That's okay. Uh, what's my cheapest settler rush? Cheapest settler. 24 gold? It's too far. Nope, 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 nope. This guy can rush. Pantheon, man. There's an... Uh, it's uh, made by the same people that made EverQuest. Um, and basically, it's like a classic MMORPG, pretty much. Uh, first tech I go for? Probably horse ri horseback riding. If I get irrigation, this will be amazing. Could happen. We'll see. We'll see. Getting too much science here. Can I do anything about it? Let's see. Two overflow isn't really that big a deal, but if I can do something about it, I might as well. Yeah. Actually, there's been a lot of activity uh, for EverQuest on Twitch lately because of the they released a brand new thing called a progression server, where basically they release classic EverQuest on an officially supported server, and then you play through as though you know the game was just released, and then three months later they come out with the first expansion, uh, and then the three months after that they come out with the expansion after that, which is what is it? Velius is the second one. What's the first one? Carnor something. I forget the name right now. But uh, point is, they release the expansions, stagger them out, as though you're like experiencing the original release once again. And they had like, well, I don't know if you know Co Carnage on uh, Twitch, but that guy was streaming. He's a pretty big streamer, and uh, he had like thousands of people playing EverQuest. Well, watching EverQuest, watching him play EverQuest, basically. Can you nuke the water? Man, I don't know. That's an interesting question. Alright, guys. They're only working one water tile. Am I going to get irrigation? Let's find out. Are you serious? They just ripped me off. Did you see that? I'm so triggered right now. That's ridiculous. I got it the same turn as them. That's wrong, man. I got really messed. Got really screwed up there. That is messed up. Let's get some gold out of this. How about you? How is that not rushable? Oh, so frustrating.
You ever hit name tiles out here by the uh, by the seawall? You can. You can hit name TC tiles out there. Luca Villa. What's going on, man? It's a little bit annoying. I cannot find a single city worth... Market in Baghdad. Not really thrilled about that. The backfield iron working, so that's good. We're getting 17 culture a turn. Damn. It's going to be a long run to thieves. Yeah, that's a pretty dumpy city right there. That's uh, better than nothing, I suppose. Well, they start with fundamentalism, so that I think they're getting plus one culture from every city. I think that's what's going on here. Yeah. This is going to be tough. A tough... I don't know. If I, can, I certainly don't think I can do as well as the English did. I'm not getting enough good things happening here. That's all right. That's all right. They're going to hit me with that 50% gold bonus here in a second. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think it's really a bummer when you don't get when you don't get more artifacts. But I've had good games without a lot of artifacts. Seven cities of gold is a. I mean, it's hard to deny that that's going to help you out.
Let's see. I need a little... I want to get construction in one turn here. Maybe... Some of these cities are just going to have to swap over for a bit. There we go. If you're not getting it taken one turn, doing it wrong, man. There we go. Could get another great person as well. Go for engineering. Help us build these settlers. We're going to need all the help we can get with the 50% uh, gold nonsense. Actually, that doesn't come until much later. Now that I think about it, it doesn't come to the modern era. So maybe we'll be all right. We can take advantage of this oak tree right here. Workshop in Medina, wherever that is. Uh, am I missing any prereqs for engineering? I don't think I am. <laughs> it's all right. It's okay. Don't really like this coastline too much. It's like so production heavy. Just wants me to clamp down and build a whole bunch of wonders, I suppose. How is this city is like so huge? It's pumped out like three settlers now. Oh, thank you, Luca. Here's for me Thanks, missing buddy. the other night. Enjoy, my dude. Earned it. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's the first time I've heard that. Earned IT. Hey, that could be good. If I build a courthouse, that might actually be good. This guy can stop building settlers. I'm gonna get that in two turns at least. Uh, it has to. I think the pep, the peppy meme that has to. That only pops up if it's like two or more. So the problem was it was like it would host one person. <laughs> it's like, yeah. So it's like. Want it to be at least two people. So there's a minimum. Thanks for the support, Luca. I appreciate it, man. Doing my best. Trying to bring glory to civilization. Need some gold. Hurting for gold. Man, that was a bad decision right there. Should have just went for the sea tiles. Splitting production on two cities like that. It's a big mistake. Big mistake. 
Wait, how'd I get down to 65? What happened there? There, you go over here. What did I change? That one? Alright, it's gonna have to do. Cool glass? Gra oh, <laughs> do you want the glass? No, the glass is right there. The glass is still there. I got rid of the uh, event stream. I didn't really think that was really adding anything of value. All these trees. I feel like I should do something with all these trees. And just look, if I clamp down right here, that is like a hell of a lot of trees. Which is pretty good. Clamp down one here later too. No growth at all right there though. At least you got a got some game right there at least. Any name tiles? Any name tiles? Nope. All right, eight gold. I need to get this oak tree going. What am I doing? Where's this guy? All right, there we go. All right, that's cool. Got engineering. I'm kind of wondering if I should go for engineering before I get stuff like monarchy. It's getting pretty close to democracy time. It's democracy time.
Hmm. <laughs> Did you get a phone call? You got a telephone call harassing you during the game? Can't stand telemarketing, man. It's hard to believe that telemarketing even exists. Oh! Hey, Napoleon. Welcome aboard. Might actually use that. Uh, let's go over here. Fix this guy. City here. And the city here. Let's camp him right there. Worst boat ever. Doing nothing for me. Nineteen cities? It's not bad. Two hundred BC. Hmm. Not good. We better break 1,000 at least. I don't think we can get quite... We are not quite enough things going right for that kind of victory. Not even getting this... Look at this. Not even building the right tree. What is wrong with me? It's like I never played this game. Time to get that spy up. Really good idea to leverage the yoke out. Pump out settlers like crazy. Only problem is I'm getting democracy next turn. So that'll hurt my expansion a little bit. have to come out of here. How long would it take to get this? 21 turns? Yeah. Not cool enough.
I think I should still... That's a lot of production. I hate to throw that away. That's going up there. This is going... Down. What are you guys doing? Out that way. something out here. No. <gasps> this guy's gonna have to go down here. Finally in democracy. And it's getting close to monarchy time. Oh, ceremonial burial. Are you kidding me? Wish the Egyptians would research that for me. Might as well get navigation. Can't get monarchy yet. Not until I get this great person. Gonna run him ahead. Yes, the ads are pretty, pretty informative, aren't they? Get a great person next turn, so that's helpful. Ugh. Best wonder? East India Company, number one, number two. I don't know. Depends what you're doing. Trade fair can be pretty cool if you're going for economic victory. I feel like a lot of them kind of tie for sec second place. Depending on what you're trying to do. Okay. This guy, I will build him. I feel like I have cheaper settlers I can build. Leo's is pretty cool. 
Yeah, if you're going for domination, for sure. It's a pretty cool effect, that's for sure. Yeah. Oxford can be pretty interesting too. More settlers they can pop out somewhere. I think that's all the expanding we can do this turn. And we'll get navigation, so we'll get a boat. That'll keep us busy. Uh, what Civ do I enjoy the most to play? Um, Honestly, I don't I don't really think there's a favorite necessarily. They're all kind of fun to play in their own for their own different reasons. Got a double die city or something cool like that. I don't though. I don't have any cool cities. My cities are all dumb. Ooh, a shot. Follow the follow. my double die at yo this guy gotta do I love all these whales that I can't use <laughs> yeah, a lot of good that's gonna they're all just die yeah a lot of good that's gonna do me the hell They're like putting these great people all over the place. I don't even, like, how am I going to use this guy? I sure as hell don't see how. I don't really have a good city, so it's just like it's going to take forever for him to even get somewhere that he would be useful. It's gonna use them. Yeah, really. There's like no die. Where the die at? That really makes a huge difference in how your game turns out. I don't know where to send this boat. I'm thinking over here. 
I think... Yeah. I actually think Atlantis is to the east. <laughs> no. <laughs> I've never sold a great explorer. That's a little bit silly. Wow, this boat is just driving in circles. Not doing too much. Anyone pop out of a settler here? Um, library, library. Cost too much. Ha ha! So I'm gonna get 57 overflow so I can bring this down to about 200. Damn it! I have no tiles. <laughs> yeah, you gotta take your time a little bit. You gotta micromanage the tiles quite a bit, so. I actually try to go fast, believe it or not. Alright, we can get an invention too. But did I get banking? I think I did. Wow, settlers. Oh no. Did this guy uh did they just screw me out of banking? I guess you can only hit one milestone at a time there. Spot either. Though you know what, I'm gonna run that guy back up here so I can take advantage of this one too. That would be better. Key rain bonum group. Free settler.
actually. Do I have all the steam prerequisites? I think I need an invention. Yeah, sure enough. Well, let's get this. How much is university? Two forty. That's right. Hmm. Everyone taking advantage of their day. That's what I want to know. I think they are. That guy is. He will be. Anyone else? You? That's about it. <laughs> what the heck? Wow. There we go. There's banking. They're insane. Uh oh, it's the magic culture push. Here it comes. Wow. Key Rain Winham. We're here for you, Gino. You can tell us anything. Yeah, I'd have to say that was probably the weirdest chain of events I've seen in this game in recent memory. Industrialization. A very important technology. If I can get corporation, that'd be awesome. I don't think I can. Oh! I can. Industrialization and corporation in the same turn. <laughs> 438 gold per turn. Quite a difference. Now watch. You, you watch. The next turn, this thing's going to jump right back. This culture barrier. Well, I don't know. Maybe because he planted here. 
Maybe that's why. Yeah, it does, Nemesis. It does. It's, the only upside to the 50% gold thing is that you can get to, like, milestones and stuff like that faster. Or if you're just trying to race to 200, uh, 20k gold or something like that. So it's good for racing to milestones. That's That's one thing. Certainly not worthless. Double die. Expand that other. Uh, India, Rome, and the Aztecs got wiped out. Huh, I'm gonna have to find Oxford University. Okay, great. scientists I've gotten in this game. Twenty five techs. Follow. 
Oh, I left my dude. <laughs> this is normal, man. You gotta build as many cities as possible. This is nothing. This is only, what, 20, 30 cities? That's nothing. Child's play. Time to rush a library. Yes, indeed. Rush those libraries, boys. Ah, oh, so close. Decent dive cities? Not really. I got a great humanitarian. No, a great scientist? I think I should hold off. Get steam power. I need to get it in one turn, though. Let's see. How could that be done? How about actually using the right tiles? That would be a good idea. That city is pathetic. Pathetic! Alright, it'd be worth rushing it here. There we go. Now we're good. And we're getting a great person, so. Should be good. Thebes? Come on, man. That is not the best city. Lag. Even store day. Alright, we get real red. Whoa, what's with all these scientists? <laughs> so many scientists. Could get atomic and then nuclear power. Getting a lot of production for that. Don't really feel like I got a good gold city. Ugh. Oof. 
Waffen an. Er kommt. Frank. Rufwaffen an. Ife. Er kommt. Gonna have to wait. Guy after all. Not getting that irrigation bonus really screwed me. <laughs> really did. And I got it the exact same turn as the turn as the Egyptians and it it was like, sorry, buddy. That's too bad. They took priority over mine. So. Pretty killer. Cities are terrible. There you go. Give me Stonehenge. City score scorecard, you just hit select or back or whatever you call it. Good night, my dear. Dabbing don't flabbing. Dabbing don't flabbing. Stop him! That's him! Oh, oh. follow him, follow him. Is 
that work in all mountain? Get that stupid. All right, there we go. Oh, bad news? Oh no. What is it? Stupid spy. Oh, <laughs> that's too bad. I'll still be here when you come back, though. No East India Company. Not good. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Saturdays don't really work for me because I, I actually started out with Saturday night, Saturday night streams, but uh, just this stuff was always popping up on weekends, so that wasn't really working out for me. Too important not to rush. Either way here, it's not going to be... Hopefully sooner than 1,000. What's silly is that uh, in the past, that would have been a good time. <laughs> but this is really just not as fast as I wanted it to be. It's a good time, though, for a non-China, non-American. really is. Uh, record for Arabs. <laughs> well, let's find out. Let's see here. Best time I have documented for the Arabs is 1625 AD. So obviously the documentation isn't so great. Because <laughs> I... Yeah, I'm sure if there have been better times than that. Just I couldn't find one, so... That's what we have.
<laughs> yeah, I mean, really, the whole point of all this, right, is to es establish some good times. So that people have something to shoot for. So we got East India Company at least. <laughs> Come on, you guys. There's some good players out there. that hello Atlantis where are you all right there you are gunpowder metallurgy battleship We're doing all right, man. We're not going to get the overall record, but we'll have a good time here for the Arabs. Four fifty AD. Figure we could probably get there around one thousand or something like that. would have been a great time just like a month ago we're getting spoiled though we want better times I think we got this game handled 33 to 9 in the tech battle we're doing okay okay water. Hello there. In the factory. Expensive. It's too important though. Okay. 
Might as well just flip them over. I don't really need any uh, science at this point. They're going for gold. <laughs> six, 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 nine, 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 six, six. I missed one. back to that later. And there is like nothing out here. Huts? Anything? Can I have anything cool out here? Oh man. Park right here. Hmm. It would be nice to have the hanging gardens here, but we can't build it because of the Egyptians. So. What can we really do to start building our great, our world bank, I guess. I can't grow it. Woo! Stonehenge. Get it. Oh boy. Oh yeah. That temple. Build something, I suppose. Build a market. No huts. Where are the huts? Nowhere to be found.
it's not really the best idea. Actually, communism might actually be a good thing. No, I need the gold more, I suppose. Sending a solitary legion. Makes a big difference. to go. I 
else at this point. So, just setting everything to gold. Get them, boys. Gangster. for it. That's what they wanted. do that what year is it oh 10 25 disgusting Ugh. what a disgrace <laughs> oh. All right. Not too bad. 1050. I'll take it. I mean, that's the time I got with the Aztecs just weeks ago. That was their tech victory time. Yeah, so that's a great, that's a good time for the Arabs. 10:25. You know, that would have been a really good domination game. I could have taken them out in like 1500 or something. <laughs> we could have done that. We could have done that around 1500, I think. That would have been an interesting uh, domination game. So yeah, there we go. Game started, took out the took out Caesar, the Romans, instantly. Did a walk in. Moved on to Gandhi, took him out with a single horse army. 
and then moved on, took out the Aztecs. That took a little longer than I wanted it to take as well, so that kind of slowed me down. It's always better to take him out. I should have put that horse on the boat. I didn't put a horse on the boat, because all I needed to do was take out that spy that was sitting in the city. Oh well. Lesson learned. Throw everything you can at a city when you're trying to capture it. Don't half-step it. So, let's see here. That's all for tonight, guys. Um, I'm going to host you guys to another channel. Let's see if I can find something interesting for you guys to watch. But, uh, for, they're all on you for everyone that's watching on YouTube, thanks for watching. And, uh, see you guys in the next video. Good night.